All right, well, the time being 7.30, we'll call to order the Board of Health meeting for the 15th of March, 2022. First thing on our agenda would be to take a look at any COVID updates and see how the town's doing. Sure, so thank you. Um, not much of an update. I think no news is good news. Things are trending in the right direction. Um, I can honestly say I feel like this is the most normal we've felt in quite some time. I know for a while there we had a reduction in cases, but guidance was still provided. Restrictions were still there. Um, I think now we're seeing hopefully the light at the end of the tunnel. We are still actively holding the um, old town hall clinic. Trish is there on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, we're definitely getting a sprinkling of individuals on both days, which is helpful. We haven't really needed the help of our MRC insert for the clinics just because it's been um, a trickling of people, but we are aware that we can call on our certain MRC as needed. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much the update for COVID unless anyone has any specific questions. School's looking pretty good. Nothing uh, major with school. Yeah, so every, I mean, the, the kids were officially unmasked uh, two weeks ago now. So, and, and everything's knock on wood going well. Um, obviously protocols and best practices still remain to be um, encouraged in place. So. Um, we're just taking it, you know, day by day, proms and things along that nature are taking place. Obviously, I think we're pretty um, used to pivoting as needed. So I think everyone kind of knows that things might not go that way, but it seems like everything's pointing in that direction. Um, and it's a positive thing. So it's good. Daylight savings. We're lighter later, warmer weather on the way, all positive things. Absolutely. Been a tough couple of years. All right, next on our agenda is approval of minutes from the February 15th meeting. I don't know if anybody had any comments or questions on the minutes. I didn't find any. I checked it and didn't see anything either. Nor did I, so we'll entertain a motion. I'll make a motion that the Board of Health approves the minutes from the meeting of February 15th without without any question or or additions. I'll second that. Great. Motion has been made and seconded. Any other discussions? We will open the vote. Carol? Aye. Mona? Aye. And Stefan? Aye. Great. And I also 400 minutes are accepted as written. The next on our agenda a little early is the uh, planning board request for comments on the Washington Street clock tower project. Sure. So I did um, provide the plot plan to everyone, but I think um, to kind of give you a better uh, look at the plan, I'd like to share my screen. And then what I'll do is I will show um, the pictures of what they're proposing so you have a better idea of what you're looking at. I have a question. They're not knocking down the clock tower, are they? So they are preserving the clock tower. Um, oh. So they'll preserve the historical um, portion of the clock tower, which is nice. And obviously it gives it its name. But okay. what they're looking to do, so if you can, can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay, perfect. That's um, nice. So you can get an idea. Because I know the picture that I have is just more of an aerial side view um, to show kind of the setbacks and, and the lot itself. So this is kind of to show what they're proposing. So it would be three stories. The first four would be um, commercial use. Given the lack of parking on the lot, uh, we did meet with engineer Dan Merrickin last week. They are... Um, looking to possibly have more like um, office setting. So maybe like an engineer, not proposing to do like a restaurant or anything along that nature, just because there is a lack of parking there. And then the top two floors would be residential. So they would be um, two bedroom units. So um, six in total. So, so, okay, so they're building around the tower clock, so the, the, the tower clock is going to be included in the building, they're not demolishing anything, right? They're now. not demolishing, so if you see it, right, if you see, see the clock you tower see right there, so I'm not sure how structurally they'll be able to do it, but they are preserving the clock tower portion of it, so I'm assuming they have to secure it and, and make sure that it's sound, um, but it would be included in on the plan. 
And then what you'd have is uh, the offices on the first floor, so three offices, and then you'd have six units above. So there are two floors. So you have the kitchen, dining, and living on the first floor, which is actually the second floor of the building. And then the third floor, you would have the master and then uh, the additional bedroom with a bathroom. Okay. Looks nice. For someone who's lived near there my whole life, even with a restaurant that used to be there, I was concerned about the parking, mm -hmm. but there really was never an issue. I mean, it used to be a diner, and there was never, even on Sundays, there was never a parking issue. How, I don't know, but there wasn't. So I'm excited they're doing something. There's the park. Spots off the side. Can you see this? Yeah. Can you see this? Yeah. Area? Okay. So it's there's eight parking spaces right in this area, and then there's ten spark parking spaces in this area. Um, yeah. And what it is is if they're coming off Chestnut Street here, this is one way traffic going in, and huh. then they'll pull in a lot. And then from here, this portion here is traffic going in, and then traffic going out. Okay. And then they are. Um, so I had Megan actually review this plan um, to give her an idea of what the plan review entailed. So she did a great job with it. Um, and during the narrative of the project, they are um, proposing to reconstruct the sidewalks in that area, which would be the perimeter of the building. And then I think like we mentioned in the plan review, so there is a dumpster here. It's a dumpster enclosure, which is great. Uh, but I think we just want to drill home that there are obviously bans in the trash. So by default, you would have to require that, you know, recycling be available. Okay. And Any then other the other items of the, the adequate lighting, um, given the fact that it is residential um, and people might have, you know, bicycles versus vehicles to encourage the bike racks be installed. Um, and then obviously the recycling component. It is on town water as well as town sewer. And there's no wetland issue, right? Because there's, I know there's like a, like a water, like a lake or something right across the street, right? There is uh, right here, if you see, I don't know if you can see the highlighted part right here, that is the um, bordering vegetated wetlands. I'm not sure if they'll have to file a notice of intent. If they do, they would definitely file through our department. Um, I haven't seen anything yet. Okay. And oh, actually, no, sorry, I apologize. There's the 100 foot wetland buffer zone right there. Okay. Oh, so they're not building anything in that? So they, yeah, so they're outside of it. Okay. Correct. Very good. Okay. So if, if no one has any questions, I'll make a motion. Go ahead and make the motion. All right. Um, so I'll make a motion in regards to the East Wopo Clock Tower site plan approval, 130, 132, 136, 140 Washington Street. The Board of Health... Um, at this time, would like to recommend that adequate lighting is provided in the parking lot and some bike racks would be added to promote a healthy lifestyle. Um, the health department also recommends that recycling should um, be provided for residents in order to follow the Massachusetts waste ban. Um, other than that, no other concerns at this time. Do your second? I'll second that. Motion has been made and seconded. Any other discussions, questions, comments? We will take a vote. Mona. Aye. Carol. Aye. And Stephanie. Aye. Aye also. 400. Motion passes. Thank you, Mona. And I think the last thing we had was the hazardous waste day. Did 
Did we move the day um, by any chance, Melissa? No, no. So it's always the first Saturday in May. Um, the only thing that's unfortunate is last year as well as this year, it falls on town meeting because town meetings have been held outside. Um, so it wasn't an issue last year. We, we have the police detail there available. Um, some of our volunteers are RTM members, so they're unable to help out at the event, but we still had a pretty good group of volunteers. Um, for those listening that potentially are RTM members or cannot attend the Hazardous Waste Day, we've always had an agreement with neighboring communities, and that allows for one that can't attend the Walpole Hazardous Waste Day to attend one of the other communities' Hazardous Waste Days. So uh, we have a few listed now, and so we have Norfolk, Ashland, and Bellingham. We have their dates. Uh, what would be required of one interested in attending another community's hazardous waste day would be come to the health department you pay ten dollars which is what we charge for you to attend our hazardous waste day we give you a voucher and then you're able to attend um, the other community's hazardous waste day so it helps out it, it provides additional dates um, obviously once a year is great but it's not a lot for those that are cleaning out regularly um, so in this case it, it gives people an option to attend um, another event. This is not an addition to the Walpole event, obviously, um, because we are, we only charge $10, but we are charged um, per the car load for whatever the individual brings. So it's an incentive to properly dispose of your items at a costly um, manner. So, so yeah, so I'll definitely be sending out information probably within the week um, to our volunteers. So if anyone's interested in helping out, we truly appreciate it. It's normally a fun time. It's a good group of people. We have some good vendors that are there. I have to recruit Bill because this will be his first year that he's not here. So maybe he'll fly home to assist us. I don't know. <laughs> I should put that in writing. <laughs> But um, so we need Stefan, you helped out at the oil table before. We need someone to help out there to, to fill yep. it. But, but yeah, it's a good event. It's a, it's a good time. We just hope for good weather. That makes a difference too. But anyone that has questions about it, definitely feel free to reach out to the health department and we can provide um, information on it. Cool. All right. Any questions about the hazardous waste day? No, no questions about the um, hazardous waste day. Um, I had a question about the Zoom meetings. Um, are they still in effect until April? Um, so actually, I, I'd have to pull it, but I believe it was extended until July. I don't know the exact date in July. Um, so it is still allowed to conduct Zoom meetings. It's definitely up to the board how they want to handle it. If they want to continue it for a short period of time and then later decide to meet in person, um, it's completely up to the board and you don't need to make a decision tonight. It's just because I'm, I'm traveling again next month. We'll be back until May. Sure. So that's why I'm asking. I'll be able to attend from wherever I am. It's a convenient that way, isn't it? Yeah, very convenient. All right. Was there anything else that anybody want to, wants to bring up or updates? Well, the only thing that I have is for our April meeting. So our April meetings fall on April 5th and April 19th. And April 19th is school vacation. And I'm actually going away to Florida. Um, and I will actually be on a plane on the 19th. The plane is leaving at five, arriving at nine. So I don't know if it's possible to switch the meeting, if you want to hold one meeting, if you want to switch your dates from the first to the third. Unfortunately, with Megan's part-time schedule right now and her being fairly new, I don't think I'd feel comfortable with her being the one on the call. Um, I'd like to be the person on the call, but I can leave it up to the board to, to make a decision. We do have Home for Little Wanderers coming in in April. We really haven't given them a set date, but that was their monthly um, quarterly check-in. Why don't we just go to one meeting and could we possibly push it up a week to make it the 13th? Uh, yeah. 12th. The 12th. Oh, the 12th, yeah. Okay, sounds good. This way we, we don't have a big gap. Sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. One in April, right? Okay. Very good. Anything else? No, that's all I have. Great. Well, that was uh, quick, and, uh, quick and easy. So we will pool for closing the meeting. Any votes? Carol. Aye. And Mona. 
Aye. Stefan. Aye. I also, so we will call the meeting adjourned. Thank you Thank all. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. On the 12th, which I'll send reminders out throughout the time so we remember. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. 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 Good, everyone.